Hey guys, watch this video till the end because I actually asked you a question and I'd like your answer. So keep watching, answer the question, and let me know. Answer the question in the comments. Let me know your answer to this question. It's like 1807 to maybe as early as 1803. The, place, the name of the cemetery is called Whitestown. And it's surrounded by nothing but cornfields and a few bar, uh, a few farms. So if you're afraid of cornfields, children of the corn or whatever, I would avoid this place. Otherwise, it looks like a neat little place that one of my subscribers, Mel, recommended for me to come and check out one of these days. And guess what? That day is today. So... Join me on this thrilling adventure. If you have a little time, go to the description of this video or any of my other videos that I've posted on YouTube so far, and you will see a link for an online store called GoStop.com. And from there, you'll be able to find equipment that we use on our investigations as well as other paranormal teams. You'll find things like the Boo Buddy that we, you see. You'll find things like my spirit box and such. There's laser grids. There's all kinds of neat things for those that are just doing this for weekend fun at, in a cemetery like I do sometimes. Or those that are a little more along their path that's investigating homes and such like WASP does, Ordinary Society of Paranormal. So go check that out. Do me a favor. And if you find something that you like there, by all means, purchase. I also invite you to like, comment, share on this video, subscribe, and click the bell icon so when I post a new video, you're likely to be notified and you won't be missing neat little places like this. So come join me on my little adventure here. Hello? Anybody here? I was told that you like to uh, come and just kind of hang out. I have to say, this is a pretty neat area. Some very old tombstones here. So you can cannot really make them out. Now, what I was told, James White had a hand or started the Johnny Appleseed Festival in Sheffield, Pennsylvania. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I was told, and that's pretty neat either way. Like I said, cornfields all over the place. This cemetery is not very big.
This is called Old Whitestown Cemetery. Memory of all early settlers and soldiers who served our nation buried here and in unmarked graves nearby. And a list of Revolutionary War soldiers. War of 1812. Civil War. And early settlers and residents. And this monument is presented by the General Joseph Warren Chapter NSDAR and the generous support of veterans, community members, and businesses of Warren County 2020. So it looks like the earliest stones would be this one of 1807, Hugh McGuire. That's marked. And the symbol up here is the daughter of the Revolutionary American War. Daughters of the American Revolution. I thank you all for your service and duty to our country. I hope you guys made it home. Hello, what do you guys think of the fields? Do you like corn? See me? Nice Thank you. All right. Hey guys, we came to visit. My name's Scott. Steph's here with me. Can you come say hello? This phrase feels good. I got an EMF detector out in the boo body. area here. These are one of the few places I can see me actually sitting down having a picnic at. <laughs> what war did you guys serve in? Can you tell me which war you guys fought in? What rank did you achieve?
What unit did you serve in? I'm holding a teddy bear. You ever thought you'd see a grown guy carry a teddy bear around? Can you believe guys? Of all the teddy bears, I actually have one that talks. You ever seen such a thing? Little talk. Eventually he'll talk. <laughs> You want to talk to us, boo buddy? This you can find on GoStop.com, and you can find a description for this under in the description. You can find the link. There he goes. I told you he talked, guys. Don't be shy. You can come talk to him. It just feels so peaceful here that I'm not really getting the vibe of... Did you say something? Did you say anything over there? Yes, I did say something. Yeah, I'm just... I'm just not getting the vibe that this place is... Well, to me, this is a comforting place. Yeah. Which is good. You guys like it nice and peaceful here? Come sit on a gravestone, headstone, look at the hills with all pretty colors. You got corn growing. <laughs> got corn growing. You get to watch them plant, do all that fun stuff. But I ask you to come and come talk to me. Come talk to us. We're kind of just sitting out here in the middle of a field. Are you playing with Boo Buddy? Boo Buddy has got sensors on it that when it moves too much or such, not it says it that it it has sensors that says. Things like, ooh, that tickles. And, oh, I like holding hands, too. You like the bear? He's pretty cool. So, I got the EMF detector out. But, unfortunately, it's too bright. Really couldn't tell much if it gets interacting, if it gets touched or anything or not. So I just shut it off instead of killing the battery. I have Boo Buddy out. He's talking. He's giggling a little bit, but that could be because I'm moving. Do you want to see the one in here? Because I'm moving around and holding them. We really like the feel of this place. It's a nice, calm, relaxing place. In a minute, we'll take out the spirit box and see if we could get something on that. Sometimes it's just nice when you're on an investigation, just kind of relax and listen. Some of our best evidence of a king. He just said, Boo Buddy's ticklish. Some of our best interaction is, has been not with the equipment, other than voice recorder or a camera. 
It doesn't always have to be high tech, top of the line, everything. Right now I'm just filming on a simple cell phone with a $35 Walmart vlogging kit. Has a mic, light, all that. Pretty nice setup. Where did it go? Okay guys, so got out the spirit box, the PSB11 and what it does is it rapidly scans through radio stations at a high rate so that way it scans through radio stations at high rates so that way it gives a chance for the spirits to use the energy it produces to form words and talk to us. So any spirits that are here right now, if you see this box that I'm holding, all you have to do is just come and try to talk to us as loud as possible. Use the energy that you have off this box here. If you you could draw your draw the energy out from this, and it should help you <laughs> communicate. Cool. Not turn that off, Boo, buddy. Unless you want to take it somewhere else. So it should, it should allow you to communicate with us. It's it's loud. It's noisy, but it should help build up a little energy for you so without further ado without further ado let's get into the spirit box So this has dual AM and FM, like two spare boxes together. I'm running both AM and FM right now. Can you come talk to us? Can you come say hello? My name's Scott. What's yours? Can you tell me the name of the local bar? Do you like looking at all this corn? Remember, you can come and touch this box and use its energy to, to communicate, to talk to us. Are we bothering you by being here? Do you like the new uh, marker up front?
Did you have a hand in uh, starting the Johnny Appleseed? You know that's still going on, nice and strong. Is there a good time for me to come talk to you? What's the name of the family that lives over there? Would you like me to turn this noisy thing off? Now if Lee was here, he would be telling me, no, I want you to throw it. He does not like this thing. Eventually we'll get more equipment, more, more better, uh, we'll get better video equipment and different devices to use on ghost hunts. Paranormal investigation. So, what do you think it should be called, what we do? Now, some teams like to say they're ghost hunters. Other teams like to say paranormal investigators. Personally, it doesn't matter to me. We're all do, doing the same thing. But comment below on what you think it should be called, ghost hunting or paranormal investigating. Were you born in Pennsylvania? Do you know it's almost Halloween? Do you like the fall time here? Well guys, any the last thing you want to say on this? I count to three. I want you guys to say bye as loud as you can, and that way this box will hear you and say what you will, will say the goodbye for you. So three, way in the back there. I want to hear you too. Two, one. Guess not. But I am going to shut the spirit box off. Your phone is starting to go kind of glitchy with the... Starting to do what? The picture is like... You're coming around me. No, the whole picture of like on... The screen of your phone, the whole picture is kind of... Dark? No, it just like... Pulsated a couple times as you were saying goodbye. Maybe it's picking something up. That's what I'm wondering. Maybe it's trying to pick something up. Guys, I, I was just standing here and it. Guys, you want to come say goodbye? We're getting ready to leave. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for further notice. I just did it again. If you try real strong, maybe we could see you. Hopefully it translates onto the video. Come get a picture with me. 
stand over here. Now we don't have the box going. I'm going to count it again. And maybe we'll be able to hear you later on that little box over there. It's that's believe it or not, that's a telephone. Some of you guys know what telephones are. There's telephone. Phonograph. No, I'm saying that you, that little thing over there is a telephone where you call people. But you also believe it or not, our telephones could take pictures too, photographs, still frames. Can you believe that? So come over here, get your picture taken. When I count down to three, everybody yell, bye. We'll try it without this noisy thing. Three. Two. Come up here and get a picture taken with me. One. Bye. Say bye. Is it pulsating again? It's pulsating again. Uh, as you say, like you say bye and then your whole bye and then it pulsates so i don't know if that's something well, trying to guys, come across thank you for coming up and trying to help okay well i'd like to thank you once again for coming along this little adventure with me i want to thank melanie mel as we call her for short uh a subscriber for suggesting this local place um we really liked it awesome site a lot of beautiful beautiful hills and cornfields and you know it's a really cool area um maybe we'll figure out what time it closes and come back at night time or something but we don't like trespassing so we'll have to see but um don't forget to like subscribe share all that fun stuff Have a good night. Blue Buddy says bye. And I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye.